All right, moving to the next story. New book alleges Aliyah was carried unconscious onto plane before fatal crash. <coughs> yes, following the fatal plane crash that claimed the life of singer Aliyah and others 20 years ago, a new book by music journalist Katie Ianzoli has allegedly revealed that the singer didn't want to board the small private plane, contrary to reports. And the book titled Baby Girl, better known as Aliyah, the author revealed that she spoke to a Kingsley Russell uh, a baggage carrier who worked for his family's taxi business in the Bahamas, which is where Alia and her crew had been shooting what would be her last music video, Rock the Boat. According to Kingsley Russell, who was 13 at the time, now 33, allegedly claims it was with Alia before the plane took off as his stepmother was transporting the singer and her team to the airport. Russell claims Alia had repeatedly refused to board the plane, so she was given a sleeping pill after telling her team that she had a headache and wanted to take a nap. The singer then fell asleep in the back of the taxi and was carried onto the plane while unconscious. It stated that it was, however, not clear as to whether the singer knew that the pill she had been offered was a sleeping pill and not something to treat a headache. The book also allegedly claims that the pilot and airport staff had won <coughs> Aliyah's entourage that they, along with their video equipment and luggage, produced too much weight for the plane to safely reach altitude. A team, however, was adamant about getting to Miami by the next day and ignored the pilot's pleas. Uh, the small twin engine plane, which was more than two hours behind schedule, crashed moments after takeoff, claiming the life of Aliyah, singer Aliyah, and eight others on board. Very sad. What do you think about this see, every time new this, book? See, first of all, I think I'm still over Aliyah's mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that was one of the earliest deaths I remember. For a celebrity. For a celebrity, you, yeah. When I was yeah. a kid, because I was like, Aliyah, that I'm seeing yeah. like this, something yeah. she died, you get. <clears throat> and then now this book now coming out, just reopening old wounds again. And I mean, <clears throat> this is 20. Yeah, it took, it'll be 20 years this August, I think ending of August. And it's strange. Yeah, yes. that's actually a very long time. But you know, it's Aliyah, and it was such a powerful death. Like, it shook everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the fact that, <clears throat> sorry, the fact that nobody expected it, the fact yeah. that she was so young, young, that she was in her prime, and then revealing that she didn't want to go on the plane, I feel like maybe she knew something. Hmm. You know, maybe she felt it was her time or yeah. something. It's, it's just a crazy situation. Like, I still read more excerpts from um, the Russell story. Uh, talking about how that, anytime I watch Alias rock the boat, I'll mm. just say this was the video she yeah. went to shoot. Yeah, that everything happened. Uh, there were different uh, reports that she was the one who wanted to leave the Bahamas to come back to the U.S. to be with her then boyfriend Demon Dash. That she was the one in a hurry. But right now, this person and this book mm. is saying like she mm. actually didn't want mm. to board the plane because she saw that the equipment were too much for the plane, and she just wanted to stay back. I wonder why they went ahead to actually travel. So like, it's just contrary why. report until this person now said she didn't want to, and they gave her a pill to just sleep, and all of this happened. Uh, the story <laughs> still talked about, the book still talked about how she, even after the old reports, mm -hmm. the crash, they said she, her body was far away from the crash, but still strapped to the seat. Mm. So mm -mm. probably... She, she had even been sleeping. Mm -hmm. Like she was just like she might have been asleep the entire time. Just crazy and weird. But yeah. then I'm like, the autopsy reports as that then should probably have been able to say if there was drug in her body or but it was, it was, it was really pilots that were alleging that. Yeah. that had drugs in him and it's license. Uh, yeah, mm. to just according to them, they were trying to switch the narrative. Mm. That the pilot wasn't licensed to fly. He had drugs in him and all that many stories. <laughs> It's just crazy that this book is coming out now. Even mm -hmm. the um, author mm -hmm. said she was with Aliyah before she went on that plane. I so mean, that's, there that's so many story, things. That's why the story yeah. is important for her to even go proper and do the investigation there are proper. So many things around Aliyah. Yes. So many unfinished businesses. Yeah. Even her relationship, her love yeah. life, yeah. You know, everything that has been around her. People have so many questions. I'm not surprised that this book is coming out. And I think that it's closure for some people mm -hmm. as well. For her. Yeah, and for even the for, author. Yeah. For the author. Yep. So because she's that close to Alia, so she just wants I to let this out. I just hope something doesn't come out about Michael Jackson because I can't see something coming in the near no, future. Michael Jackson's one is still, it will still come up one day. It will still come <laughs> up one day, one day. Maybe 20 years after yeah. today. <laughs>